is Anna White. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built this coffee table. So you'll need a miter saw, and we'll start by building the tabletop. This is the octagon that goes underneath the tabletop. We'll cut it down to a circle in later steps. The best way to build this is you'll need eight identical pieces that are cut as shown in the cut list. What I do is I cut the first one and then use it as a pattern. And then I'm gonna go ahead and join the boards together with a three quarter inch pocket hole and one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Later on, I wish I'd only drilled one pocket hole on the inside as when I went to cut it into a circle, I was cutting into that second pocket hole. This is all detailed out in the plans which are free and I'll leave a link in the description so you can check those out if you're actually building this table. For the actual tabletop, I just joined one by 12 boards together with pocket holes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue the octagon apron to the underside of the one by 12s. Now bear in mind, you're going to be cutting into it. So you wanna avoid placing any screws that you might be cutting into. To turn the octagon into a round tabletop, I'm using a circle jig that I made up and I have the video tutorial and the plans on how to do that. I'll leave a link in the description. So essentially I made the jig up, just cut off any obvious excess and then just kept rotating the circle jig around to cut off any um, amount of the tabletop that went past the jig until it became a circle. If you think about it, a circle is really just a bunch of straight lines. Now to build the base. So for the legs, I'm gonna use two by fours and I cut those at a 10 degree angle. And then they're just, the ends are parallel. So it's a long point to short point angle. What I do is when I cut the first one, I use it as a pattern to cut the next two. So they're all identical. And now moving on to the stretcher pieces that are cut out of two by twos. These are a little bit more complicated, um, but they're, they're not hard to do. So one end is cut at a 10 degree angle. And then the other ends are cut at a 30 degree to kind of create like a house shape at the top or an arrow shape at the top. Then on the end that's cut at 10 degrees, on the long point I drilled a single two and a half inch pocket hole. Then I can take the three stretcher pieces and with some glue and two inch trim screws, screw them all together. And now I can attach the center stretcher piece to the legs. So I just measured up the legs and marked out where I want them and attached it with a two and a half inch pocket hole screw and some glue. Once I've got the legs all attached to the center part, I set that on a flat level surface so the glue could dry. And then I'm attaching some blocking to the top of the legs so I can attach it to the underside of the tabletop. And I just use some one and a quarter inch Craig screws to attach the base to the underside of the tabletop. Now for the finish. To create some texture on the top, I used a wire brush on an angle grinder, and then I quickly went over that with 120 grit sandpaper. I watered down this weathered wood accelerator in aged brown to create this beautiful stain color. The coffee table turned out so nice, I went ahead and did plans for the end table as well. 